arm your quads. Live on the tone. Oh, good. Let's do it. He's high side of the tower. He's right turning in traffic. When I first started doing it, they all kind of looked at me a bit weird, but when I showed them the footage and how awesome it can be, they was like, yeah, okay, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. The competition is getting very competitive, especially internationally, literally taking off. Goggles down, thumbs up. I was on my third lap and I crashed and I broke a prop, so, yeah. But, but I'm on the board. That's drone racing. Yeah, that's drone racing. We've got a five inch quad, and that's generally the typical size that we use. But what makes FPV FPV or first person view is the goggles that you wear. The video transmitter on the quad here actually transmits the image directly back to these goggles and that is how you see what the drone sees. This is a ADF recruiting initiative but um, I think it's wider than that. It's about um, recruiting into generic defence industry as well for STEM, STEM kids and getting them interested. So thanks for being a part of it. I'm proud to be a sponsor of the, of the drone racing team and the first uh, event you held here worldwide for a Defence Force, it must be, must be good to see it finally in it, place. It is really awesome. Victoria Barracks, Sydney is the birthplace of the Australian Army. Um, being able to bring the newest technology to the oldest uh, origins of the Australian Army is a wonderful mashup of themes. The Australian Army is Australia's biggest user of drones. It, it is logical that Australia sees that we also do drones for fun as well. This reach out also serves back to us as well when we're recruiting its ex-defence force members, new engineers, new graduates. I'm 19 years old, so yeah, I just came out of school and been having a really awesome gap year. I really love to keep doing the drone racing. I also really love the development side of it, so the engineering, maybe. Our main goal was engagement. We have that in bucket loads.